Hi all, welcome to Cogno Self Learning Report Studio series. My name is Amish Sharma and today I am going to show you how the difference between before and after aggregation option which you, up, which you find while applying filter. I am sure you must have seen this option multiple times while apply filter but I am going to show you exactly the, the meaning of this option and how does it impact to your query output. This is an example that you see over here when you apply filter you always find this option before aggregation and after aggregation. We will take one ca sample case and we understand when you apply before or after aggregation how does it impact the output to your query. So in our example I am going to show you one of the case we need to display the list of all the employees and the respective managers where total expenses on the employees greater than 500,000. We will take both the cases and see the difference between in terms of output and in terms of query both. So I'm going to use the go sales model, uh, go sales warehouse model. So let's take a new query. I'll prepare a list query and I drag and drop my employee details, their manager and the respective sales, respective expenses. So I'll take employee first name. employee manager, first level manager and the total expenses, expense I can collect from here, employee expense fact, employee total expenses. Before applying I would select my, I select my column total expenses and apply filter. Here I am going to use a creating new filter, click on add and I am going to apply filter on my total expenses, expense total and here I specify greater than $500,000. So I need a list of all the employees where expenses are greater than $500,000. And you see there is an option called before aggregation and after aggregation. I choose the option first before aggregation and run this query. I make a note over here I did not get any output. When I apply aggregation on total expenses greater than $500,000 I did not get any output. I would also like to capture the query which Cognos render I'll copy this query and put into my PLSQL editor in order to make it easy to understand and copy and paste over here beautify it so that it is easy to understand. Now the area where you should pay attention where employee expenses are greater than 500,000 right. I put this into my notepad so that we can easily compare these two elements. So before apply aggregation this is the output. And I will underline the area where we require attention, so where employee expenses are greater than 500,000. Let's make it bold. This is the option before aggregation. Now let's redo the same example, redo uh, and this time I am going to choose the second option. I edit my filter and choose the second option after aggregation. Make a note in the previous example before aggregation I did not get any output. When I rerun it and here I got the output. Right? List, list of employee first name, their manager and the total expenses are greater than 500,000. Why? What is the difference between these two expressions? If you go back to your report studio and look at the query you get the exit output of the difference between these two. Copy this query put into your PLS editor and here you see the difference. You beautify this and you see when you apply after aggregation it applies an having clause, group by on having clause. The query remains same, list of employee first name, their manager and total expenses. In this example the where clause is applied before aggregation using where clause, here in this where clause is applied using having after aggregation. So because of the difference between these two query, you run them, there is a in the first query it did not render any output, in second query you get the output. There's the first query, no output, in the second query you got the output. Where total values is greater than five hundred thousand. We go back and compare these two output, the final output, and you put your 
it into your paintbrush and the area where you should draw your attention you look at the having clause so this is the difference between before aggregation and after aggregation thanks for watching today's uh, podcast and to watch more videos kindly subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and have a good day ahead